Hello, I'm Mitchell, and I'm going to show you how to assemble the Novak Dawn Wolf Set. These are made with a new material called Seal Res. It's a little bit different than resin that you're used to, but a lot of the methods are still the same. Make sure you have a good set of clippers and a sharp knife. And just like resin, you want to cut off far away from the piece and slowly trim smaller, smaller pieces closer to the piece. And just clean up with the knife. It's quite a soft material, so make sure to kind of brace your cutting hand to not slice through the piece. Take it easy, take it slow, little bits at a time. Also, as far as removing mold lines, you can use a metal file. I wouldn't suggest kind of an emery board nail file. It kind of clogs that up pretty quickly, but a metal file works really well. You can also um, scrape it, but you kind of want to be quite gentle with it. The material is quite a uh, lot softer than resin than you might be used to, and even softer than plastic. I would also suggest scoring the glue joints. I didn't do it in this video, but you will get a better adherence to the piece if you just kind of mar it up with your knife a little bit. Regular super glue works for this material. Because the material is so soft, you can get tighter fits. If you push really hard, some of the material might flex in the position that you want it to. So just make sure you hold it in place and it should stay the way that you hold it. As always, I recommend test fitting pieces before attaching glue. That way you can make sure that it's attached correctly. These chains, I put the slightly C-curved one on his left arm. There's kind of a straighter one that goes on his back, and then the more S-looking one goes on his right arm. The arrows and blades that stick into his back, they kind of have holes that sort of match the shape of what you're putting in, so I highly recommend test fitting those to make sure the right sword is going into the right slot. Also you can reference the pictures on our website to see which ones go where. This material is really great for these small, thin pieces because they won't break. The, it's quite flexible, so they'll just kind of bend and just snap back into place. I'm going to show you how to assemble this part of the base, which is only available if you buy the whole set. Otherwise you would just have a regular base with the wolf. And as you can see here, cut off far away from the piece and slowly take off more and more chunks of the sprue until you get right up to the model. A little arm that goes in the opening of the coffin on the top there. It's a little hard to spot the glue joint. And as I mentioned, there's two base options if you get the whole set. 
This is what normally comes with the wolf, a uh, smaller base, very simple, and this is the larger hero base that comes with the set. All right, we're gonna move on to the smaller wolves. I'm gonna show you which parts come off of the sprue for this model so that you can know which legs and arms go with which body. And as you can see here, I'm scraping off the mold lines just as I would a plastic or resin model. And always use your clippers to kind of cut off the sprues closer and then the knife for some final cleanups. I always like to test fit the pieces as I'm cleaning them, so that way I can make sure that I get a flush fit before I start gluing them. The excellent thing about this new material is because of the flex, it's a lot easier to line up parts. So those legs that glue to the base, normally I would kind of test fit everything together and make sure that the angles are all right, but in this case I just glued the leg on and then you can bend the legs or ankles to fit onto the base quite easily and it is quite durable. Some of the pieces you'll notice there's a little string coming off the opposite end of where it was attached to the sprue. That's part of the mold making process and casting process and it's kind of a vacuum vent. So pay close attention, some of them might be quite small and hard to miss. So examine your piece and look for those little strings coming out and they're usually on the opposite end of where it was attached to the sprue. So again, this type of model would normally be quite difficult in resin or plastic. You really got to make sure all of the joints are lined up very, very specifically because there's three separate contact points to the base, but you can just make sure that the joints are really nice and you can flex the material to line up on the base. It's really, really awesome to work with. The tails for all of these models don't exactly have a pin or plug like the rest of the joints. It's kind of flat and smooth, so you could actually leave these tails off if you wanted, but just make sure that it's seated in the right spot before gluing. Instead of scraping the mold lines like you normally would with a plastic or resin model, if you have a really sharp blade, you can actually just cut along the surface. As you can see on this leg I'm just about to clean, you can see me not necessarily scraping the edge, but cutting along the surface to remove any protrusions that might be on there. And it's really important to have a very sharp knife. I just go buy a pack of 100 blades and just always have them by my side and I usually replace a new blade every time I work on a new model.
right, that's all the models complete. I hope that this video was really helpful for you, and I really hope you enjoy working with this new material. We're very excited about it. it produces fantastic models that are very durable for gaming, painting. Thank you so much for watching.